I'm noticing you boo-hooing up here. <laughs> You're boo-hooing because? Because it's sad. Yeah. I mean, it's been on the air for so long, uh -huh. and, you know, it's just memories, and they're friends. <laughs> you feeling a little lost yeah. today? Yeah. Right. yeah. You're wondering, too, where's Rachel? Is yeah. she in a box? <laughs> what are you going to do? Okay. Okay, we all saw them take their final bow last night on the historic Friends finale. The last show was such a big event that advertisers paid Super Bowl prices for ads during that broadcast, up to $2 million each. That's right. And I'm just back from California where I met the famous cast at my favorite place, the Hotel Bel Air. See all those flowers out there in the garden? This is, they're, all, they're always there. It's unbelievable. So I met them at the Hotel Bel Air for their last interview together. Last time I talked to Jennifer, we talked about babies. When this is all done, do you want to go home and have babies? Yes. Mm -hmm. Gonna do that. Will you do it immediately, like as soon as the show is I'll finished? I'll have them here in the dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting. Yeah, yeah. Now, the woman named as one of the 50 most beautiful people is still dealing with rumors about her efforts to conceive a child with her husband, Brad Pitt. Everybody says you're having baby <laughs> struggles. I'm not having baby struggles. Okay, I just, you know. Well, if I, if I can help out in any way. <laughs> yeah, we're both. See, I miss this. I just I'm miss these little goofy it, comebacks every does minute. Does it aggravate oh. you, really? Because I knew that would happen, because the last time we were here, we were talking about, you said, I said, oh, you want to go home and have babies, and you said immediately. Immediately. So then that becomes your story. Of course. That you're building a nursery. Are you building a nursery? No. Courtney has publicly discussed her struggles to have a baby. In November, I asked her if she planned to keep trying after Friends. Yes, I, I, I want to. Want to, too? Yeah, desperately. It turns out Courtney was already expecting during that interview, but wasn't quite ready to tell the world. She and husband David Arquette will welcome their first child in July. What was it like the first time you um, saw the... The ultrasound. Mm -hmm. There's so much footage on this baby, you would not believe. It. I mean, I have pictures of this child from the day it was actually put into my body with a syringe till now. Footage, film, it's unbelievable. Really? Yeah. It's and 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 the baby looks pretty. It's it's ready now. It's, it's ready. Yeah. Ready it's to cute. go. So ready, ready to go. First time you I mean, heard the heartbeat. It shouldn't come out now, but yeah. First time you heard the heartbeat. Um, that was great. Mm. That was great, yeah. Mm. I like hearing. I, I, Do you feel changed already? Do you sense changes in yourself? No, I just now have an excuse for nesting. I've been nesting my whole life, and now people go, oh, look at her nesting. I'm like, yeah. I'm a nester. I'm, a, I'm always a nester. So now my obsession is now warranted. Do you have a name? Do you know if it's a boy or girl? I know that. Okay. Do you have names? Well, you know what? I hope I know that. I'm okay. not sure. Something could be hiding. You never know. <laughs> well, or, or, or not. Yeah. Well, uh, to me, if it was a girl, it should be, you know, my mother's name, which is Courtney, and David's mother's name. Um, that would just make sense. Mm -hmm. And if it was a boy, it would be my father's name mm -hmm. and maybe David's father's name, which actually is weird because David's father's name is my father's middle name. Okay. It would work that out would beautifully, work. in other words. Yeah. But David said, no, that's really unoriginal, and no. And no. And I was like, well, sorry, it's a tradition, and yes. <laughs> so we're kind of fighting about that, but, I mean, it's a southern thing. The incredible success of the show made instant celebrities out of the cast. For a decade, the actors were featured on the covers of countless magazines. And during the final weeks, the media spun into a friend's frenzy. This is amazing because do you guys get hounded as much as Jen? I know you are hounded by paparazzi. Yeah. Hounded. I'm, I'm getting, I'm hounded a lot because of the baby. Because of the baby, yeah. yeah. Like where they've been chasing me to the point where you there's this really terrible you. show on, I shouldn't even say the name because I don't want to give it any yes. It's don't really so bad that um, but these young kids are trying to get this information. So they kind of surround you in your car and you you, you drive recklessly because you want to protect yourself. It's a show where the people are trying to get the information? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, like a ta it's like a tabloid newspaper on television. Mm -hmm. It's really bad, Just this particular It's getting better one. and better. <laughs> And how are you, what are you going to do when the baby actually comes? Do you think you're just going to take the photo, not take the photo? That's a great question. That's a good I question. I don't know exactly what's the best way to keep people from invading your life. I don't know. It's been it's terrible. I, I think what Sarah Jessica did was just take she the photo. She did right out of the, out yeah, right. of the hospital, right? Just take right? the photo and be done, done with and it. Then and then that stops it. Isn't happen. it amazing the things that people can write about you that aren't true? Aren't, have funny. you been amazed about it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Really? It's incredible. Really? 
Yeah. What's the most most amazing thing that's been written about you that was intro? Mm. Well, probably the pictures of me and one of my good friends who's gay and how I'm having an affair with him. Uh -huh. How my husband is going to the market. Uh -huh. Okay. Sad. Matthew, what's the craziest thing someone's written about? Well, there that was, was a, intro. There was a story in one of the in one of the tabloids that uh, I was dating a major celebrity that I'd never met before. <laughs> on page four and on page five, right there, it was a huge elaborate story about how gay I was. <laughs> Is that why you weren't dating her? Yeah, that's the reason I wasn't dating her. Yeah, so, you know, who's editing these things? But wow, really? Everything that can be said about anyone. Really? Said about me in these things, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Dave, Ben? Yes. Yeah? Well, apparently I've been, I mean, according to the tabloids, been engaged like three times. I've never been engaged in my life, so that's fun trying to explain you that. <laughs> Seriously? All right. Well, almost. Uh, God, you know no, me so well. I'm never. Never. Are you kidding? I'll no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> never. Never. Okay. Never. I'm Crazy glad you didn't say you are gay, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy thing. Courtney. Craziest thing. There was one thing that you and I were fighting with each other. Yep. Oh yeah, the big cat fight on the set. Or I was jealous that, that, that you were pregnant thing. and I wasn't, or something. Okay, so you must have a list of crazy things. Oh, they're it's so a weekly. elaborate. We Baby now struggles. laminate them and put them on our, you know. Uh, the babies, the, um, uh, that, well, the latest that I was seeing a fertility specialist when I was actually going to the getting dentist. drilled for three hours at my dentist's office. I and bet you're having the nurseries yeah. already built. So well, in one magazine they're saying, yeah, that we're, we're having a baby. And then yeah. the other one is, oh, they're, they're in trouble. Uh-huh. You know, Brad's on a movie and they're in trouble. And the, so, you know. But there was also a period where I think Brad and I were, I was at, living at a hotel and he was somewhere and so they had us divorced and that was funny. Yeah. And what it is, is it's just about money. It's just, you know, people that are destined to travel to hell trying to make, you know, 50 bucks. But one headline story that was true was Matthew Perry's life and death struggle with addiction. When we spoke in November, he talked about overcoming his problem. So what saved me was was finally getting a little bit of clarity in my life and realizing that this was this was it. If I keep living my life this way, there isn't going to be any life. So you you ultimately kind of I guess the key word is surrender and you and you realize that you need help. So you finally ask for it and you realize the Matthew Perry plan sucks. <laughs> Today, Matthew says life is much happier, and for good reason. Didn't we hear that you're madly in love? Everybody says you're so softened now. Well, I certainly am madly in love. That you're madly in love. Oh. That you've become like, you're Maddie. so softened, you're like liquid love. Really? Yeah. Oh. Do you feel I softened? I suppose a little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. How so? I don't know. I, I think I've, just, I've met a girl that I'm very comfortable with, and I'm having a really great time with her, so yeah. you're not... You know, you're not kind of looking for others and all of the crazy things that that brings into your life. Yeah. Uh, Are you happier now than you've ever been? In a lot of ways, I am. I, and, you know, I also, I miss, I miss this job, though. You know, mm -hmm. I, I miss a lot of aspects of this job. But, you know, I, I certainly had a fear that when, when the, the last show would happen, it would be, there'd be such an absence in my life. And yeah. I think, uh, you know, personally, I've done a pretty good job at, at, uh, at filling that. So. What you been doing? Uh, what have I been doing? I've been, I've been doing a lot of traveling. I've been reading a lot of scripts. But I gotta, I gotta join the Oprah Winfrey book club. And, oh, it's the best. At some point. It is the best. At some point, yeah. Really good books every, every time. time. Yeah, yeah. You really they can never disappoint me. Thank you. Thank you for that. Mm. Lisa, has this allowed you more time to be a more fully committed mom? You'd think. <laughs> but I prepared so well to be busy after I was done that I have less time than I did when I was doing the show. Really? Yeah. And I did actually find time to go to a school and serve lunch for the first time. He was really happy, and that was fun. And that was good, but I really am busier than I was when we were just doing the show. Coming up, Matt LeBlanc joins the final interview with the cast of Friends.